Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Park Life and a home sort of vlog, home style vlog for the first time in many many weeks. Yes of course you've been watching our Florida videos probably, uh, I know some of you don't watch them and that is a shame. But yeah, you've been watching our Florida videos. We got back from Florida like three weeks ago, I think, more than three weeks ago. Uh, and I've just been working really hard to try and edit those vlogs. I hope you've been enjoying them. Uh, but obviously it means that we haven't been doing home style vlogs. Home style vlog. It's like I'm not a chip. Yeah, these aren't McCain. Anyway, uh, so yeah, home style video. I, I just thought I'd start one today. Don't know exactly when I'm gonna upload this, but I, I, the date is like the it was roughly the 20th of October. It's not quite the 20th, but it's roughly. Anyway, I've got some interesting things that I want to show you today. So first and foremost, I'm at work today. Claire is in the office. I'm obviously working from home. I've just gone on my lunch to start this video. Um, so over the course of the last several days, I've been making this model, this Iron Man model. Now, I'll pick it up and show you some of it. Um, as you can see, it's really awesome and really highly detailed. Uh, this is not an official Lego model. So I bought the instructions uh, for this from someone online uh, who, who made this basically alternative build. Uh, it combines three different Lego sets. So two buildable Iron Man sets. So that's where you get the Iron Man mask from. Um, and then one um, Eternal set, which I do actually already own. There we go. Oh, take the sticker sheet off, that's part of it. Um, yeah, I do actually already own this set, but I picked up another copy because it was reduced and uh, I wanted to make this. And I might as well show you the buildable Iron Man. So look, that's the bad, and this bad. There's, there's like quite, quite widely regarded in the Lego fan community of being a bad set. Uh, I hadn't picked them up because I think they look poor. Um, but this is much cooler. Um, so anyway, one thing that I had to do was separate out all of the pieces from all of the individual bags. And as you can see, I'm most of the way through the build now. Well, over halfway, I guess. I've still got obviously a leg and two arms to do. Um, but that's really cool and really interesting. The other thing I probably want to show you is uh, a few Black Panther Lego pieces that I've currently got on the windowsill. Uh, I've basically still got these out and not put them all away yet because Black Panther comes out in under a month and I'm just excited and I sort of just have to have them visible near me because I'm some sort of weird person. But the third thing, and really the reason why I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna start this vlog today. Because uh, I, cause I sort of, in the last few days, I've, I sort of wanna vlog that Lego. But the thing that made me really go, ah, now this is interesting. This is an experiment worth starting a vlog for. It's a good thumbnail. So we've got hot dogs for dinner today, but a few days ago, Claire said she thinks she's going off hot dogs. So I feel bad that we're having a meal that maybe she's not gonna crazy enjoy. So I thought, what can we possibly do with the hot dogs? What can I, what can I, what can I do as a surprise for Claire for dinner that she's not expecting and that she'll, she'll like and she'll enjoy? And I thought, oh my God, we had a roast at the weekend, got loads of potatoes, I could do homemade chips. Just to boil them and then toss them in oil and oven bake them, they come out nice and crispy and they taste like fried chips. So I'm gonna do that, but the experiment part of this, now this is, this is mental, right? And I could go a different way with this, but bear with me. As I said, we had, that's cold brew coffee by the way. As I said, we had roast at the weekend and we've got leftover beef gravy. Now, I could of course, because I, I know where you're thinking, because we've got cheese there as well, you're probably thinking, oh, he's gonna do poutine with the hot dogs. No. I don't know why I'm getting that out now, I've gotta put it back in a minute. I suppose just for a dramatic effect. Anyway, so obviously I could do, I could do poutine. If I was a normal human being, I would just do poutine. But no, guys, when I boil the potatoes, I'm gonna boil them in gravy. It will need water as well because the gravy's too too thick and there's too little of it. But I'm gonna boil the potatoes in gravy and water um, to hopefully instill some of the beefy, rich meatiness into the potatoes before they are oven fried slash oven cooked. Um, and I'm actually gonna use beef dripping as well. So they're gonna be hopefully super meaty fried. Now this is an experiment and like I say, I'm doing this to give my wife a nice surprise. And if it goes wrong, that means that has completely backfired. 
Um, but she's not expecting chips anyway, so it can't backfire that much. But let's see how it goes. Okay, the gravy has now gone in. I'm now, uh, let's just get the last few dregs out of there. Um, let's add some boiling water. Uh, like I don't want to dilute it too much, right? And it will need a bit of salt as well. Because first of all the crazy crazy first of all the gravy itself is under seasoned I under seasoned it not on purpose in error um, and second because you're not actually going to be eating the gravy it's just the liquid to boil the potatoes in so it needs to absorb as much as possible right now we leave that and see what happens okay so here's a bowl with oil some various oils and beef dripping in the potatoes, the gravy boiled potatoes are coming along. There's like some sort of curdy foam stuff on top, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, good. Smells good. I hope it imparts enough flavour. I'm not sure how big of an impact this is actually going to have, but we will see. Okay, they've taken on a little bit of sort of colour and they're like fluffy slash falling apart now. So that's a good a good place to have them still oh good loads of um absolute fumy steam um yeah they're like starting to fall apart which is where we want them for me throwing them in the in the thing to flip up as i hold it into the sun you'll see the shimmering slush that will create car third degree burns on your fingers from the metal bowl but also crispy bits Okay, again, I need to move it into the light to give you maximum good viewage. But yes, here they are on the tray. Now they go into the oven for 45 minutes or so, hopefully. Okay, guys, progress report. It's been approximately sort of half an hour. Claire has informed me she's going to be back late, which is interesting. It will affect the cooking process. Um, so I think I just need to turn the temperature down on these. Because I think, I don't think she's even left yet isn't ideal okay the final product claire is about to try one and give her verdict let's give it a go mm. wow meaty i've not told claire what they are what are they well they're obviously chips aren't they but mm -hmm. do you like them they taste meaty uh -huh. I boiled them in gravy. Weird. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. They taste quite similar to just like beef dripping ones, really, don't they? I mean, they are cooked in beef dripping as well. That could be it. Mmm, somewhat. Mmm, somewhat. So, even though I've been editing my Florida videos recently, um, I've, I've enjoyed editing them, however I will say I just had a very strange feeling. Um, I needed to free up some space on this memory card so I went on there to delete some footage and it was the day that we left England for Florida um, and I had to like look through this old fo fo footage. I had, to, footage, I had to look through all this old footage in order to select files to delete and like looking at it like made me feel extremely sad i was like oh like this is sort of the holiday blues section obviously we had holiday blues immediately after getting back like i think i said earlier we've been back for three weeks now three and a half weeks and we left actually yeah it's tuesday today so we left like three four five six six weeks ago nearly five or six weeks ago is when we left um, and just looking at our old footage just made me feel really sad. I was like, oh, like all of like sort of reliving, or not reliving, but remembering that excitement of how excited we were when we were leaving. And that's now gone and we won't have that same sort of level of feeling for a long time. We're obviously going to do fun stuff next year. It's not like we're not going on holiday. And yeah, even, even, you know, this thing's coming up that I'm excited for, but just had that twang that pang of, of unexcitement or sadness. I'm saying stupid things now. 
Anyway guys, <laughs> um, I am wearing a Black Panther Wakanda Forever hoodie right here. Um, a film that I'm really excited for, absolutely can't wait. And on that Marvel note, um, it is literally today. It's a very special day guys. It's the release date of Marvel Snap. Now let me show you this. Marvel Snap. So this is a game from the previous sort of creators slash directors of Hearthstone. And I've been waiting for it. Barter Vision. Blah. Basically, I've literally been waiting for this game for years, like genuinely years. Uh, it was about four and a half years ago that these um, Hearthstone developers left uh, Blizzard to set up their own studio. They set up their own studio, and I think it was about it was either it, it was roughly a year later that they announced that the game that they were working on was a Marvel game. Um, so that was when I got extremely excited because that was like the first sort of rumor slash bubbling. That you know, you have loads of developers from Hearthstone, which is a digital card game, and they announce they're making a Marvel game. You're like, oh my god, is that a Marvel digital card game? And it is. Uh, they officially announced it several months ago, um, and it is finally come out. You know, four years later, or three and a half years later from them, it has come out, and it's bloody awesome. Let me, I'm, I'll show you. This footage isn't going to be amazing, but we'll actually just go into a quick game. I'll just, do you like my, this top thing, it's not top, it's a bottom, um, but yeah, let me show you a quick game, so it's like a digital card game, basically, you've got three locations in the middle, which can have different effects, so this one is on turn five, cards cost one more, so you're going to have to factor that in, and you basically got cards which have a cost in the top left corner, um, the cost um, is the, actually that's um, energy, it's an energy cost, but basically on turn um, on turn one you can play things that cost one. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go there in the middle. Didn't even show you that properly. I mean, there's tutorials online of how to play this. Anyway. Oh, end turn, um, noob. Um, yeah, and then it reveals your cards and stuff. And basically, the winner of the game is the person who has a higher power in two locations. And the power is the other number on these cards. Cards cost one less. Oh, so in general cards cost one less. Oh my god, that's very good. Um, let's go for here. And then obviously different cards have different powers. And it's also got, there's like other elements as well. There's like this gambling mechanic. So if you think you're going to win, you can tap the cubes to double the number of cubes that you're going to win at the end of the game. Or the end of the match. Oh, this guy didn't seem to do very much that turn. Uh, I think I'd be foolhardy not to... Oh, what's what we got here? If you're a put... What is this? I don't... I didn't put that in my deck. Drax. On reveal, if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus four power. Anyway, I'm going to finish off this game, and then this video will continue because it's cool. Well, guys, I've now finished the Iron Man model, and I am extremely happy with it. Um, it looks very highly detailed. Very, very cool and awesome. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just absolutely chuffed, to be honest. Love it. Wow, look at this. It's such a fun Oh. Eh? Oh, no, don't worry. You're in tutorial mood. Mood mode. <laughs> I've just travelled back in time, slash forward in time, or at least I'm going to take you forward or backwards in time, to earlier when I made a Halloween product. Yeah, so this, this vlog has turned into sort of like food experiments, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, I made a Sour Patch Mayo. This was an idea to do a Halloween video for Food Review UK, so I think this, this video is going to go up probably probably well after Halloween, actually, or maybe a week or, or, or so after Halloween. So that was, uh, yeah, that was a Halloween video that I did. Um, yeah, it was absolutely grim. So I mixed up, as you can see, I sort of mixed and melted all the Sour Patch and mixed in with mayo. It's just as bad as you would expect now. I think I may end this vlog here potentially. Um, I think the next vlog on the channel, I'm not 100% sure what it will be because I've got a few ideas, I've got a few ideas percolating. But certainly one of them is going to be the uh, the Dyson Desire Boys are going to Comic Con. Uh, Nate is even talking on a panel, although we're not going to be there for that because uh, some of us are working on the Friday. Nate has uh, been asked to to make a, a, a speech. Uh, or not, not speech, but be on a panel. But uh, yeah, still massive, massive, uh, massive deal for us. And uh, incredibly, um, incredibly, I am incredibly proud of Nate. And it is a great opportunity for him personally as well. Just the 
it sort of recognises the hard work he's put in, so that's really cool. So yeah, we're going to do that. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was weird and random, but we're back today. Vlogs. Um, Black Panther. Oh my god, when am I going to get the Black Panther vlog up? Because Black Panther, as I'm filming this, Black Panther comes out in like two and a half weeks. I'm starting to get excited. I, I do probably want to get a Black Panther vlog up on, you know, that weekend, so... I don't know, it might be a bit of a jam-packed schedule, or there might be vlogs out of order in the coming days. This hand seems like, there's either like a delay or or like a frames per second issue. I'm not sure, does this video look normal to you? Anyway, thank you guys, we'll see you next time. Cheers.